got him. That feels like a decent fish. Perfect eater size fish. You know what? Probably an 11 inch fish. Man, I'll tell you though, the way he was coming, he was on a rail. Awesome fish. We're going to throw him in the pail. But I want to show you what I'm using because this is a really cool bait. And this is the time of the year that this bait is really, really good. Here's the bait I'm using right here. This is the brand new Rattlin Quiver Spoon. And here's what's so cool about the Rattlin Quiver Spoon. It still have that slow tantalizing drop. It still flutters back and forth from side to side. And it gives you the glow color on the front and the plated color on the back. This so happens to be the pink glow with the gold back. And man, I'll tell you what, every time that lure's going down, it's doing this and it's giving some flash and then it's giving color. But here's the really neat thing. The rattle is in the eyeball. So there's a single bead in there and every time this thing's going back and forth, falling down, that quiver spoon is, you know, dancing back and forth. You're hearing tick, 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 tick is just enough to get these crappies attention. And like I said, they're curious. You get them in, they hear that ticking and all of a sudden you see the fish and you just start lifting up above them and you can still dance it like the regular quiver spoon. But anytime you want to put the drop on them, there's that little bit of rattle. So back to why is it so important at this time of the year? This is the time of the year where it's the hardest for fish to feed based on sight. Lots of snowpack. We're late in the year. The fish have moved out deeper. When you get to that time, that's when you want to use a bait with a rattle. And man, I'll tell you what, this rattling quiver spoon in the 16th ounce size, when it comes to crappies, it's a tough one to beat.